Hello, and welcome to our Ignite session. Today, we're discussing employee communications for the AI workforce. I'm Tejas Mehta, product manager on the Viva Connections team, and today I'm joined by Lauren Edelmeyer from the Viva Engage team and Judith Jacobi from Viva Amplify. We have a number of topics we'll cover in this session, so let's get started. Microsoft Viva is an employee experience platform that empowers employees to achieve more through next generation communications, skilling, and measurement abilities that all build on top of Teams, Copilot, and Microsoft 365. In this session, we'll discuss how Viva can help you communicate new initiatives and directions across your organization, connect employees to the information and tools they need, build dialogue between leaders and employees, and drive culture and community. Let's take a look. The style of communications has changed. Modern comms are required to be multi-directional, not just top-down. And now, they can be supercharged by AI and Copilot to help you draft, visualize, extract, and reason over huge amounts of data and insights. Modern comms need to be interactive and include rich media, commenting and reactions, published seamlessly to any device through a mix of formats like blogs, events, campaigns, and newsletters. And while the future of comms brings both uncertainty and endless opportunity, all of these tools are now available to you through the Microsoft platform to help you share your message, connect your people, and drive engagement at scale. Our Employee Communications and Communities Bundle brings together three solutions to keep employees connected and informed, including Viva Engage, a centralized place to connect everyone at your organization through community and conversation, Viva Connections, a branded company app that's the gateway to the employee experience, surfacing apps, tools, resources, and news to keep everyone connected from wherever they are, and Viva Amplify, a centralized campaign tool where you can create, manage, publish, and analyze your internal company communications and campaigns. And now, let's take a look at how it all comes together as a single communications platform. Here in Amplify, I can see an overview of my ongoing campaign. I'll jump into a draft to continue working. Within the editor, I can now use AI to help me find the right words. I highlight the text and select the Copilot icon and choose Auto Rewrite. Within seconds, Copilot provides me with some alternatives. I'm not quite seeing what I want, so I ask Copilot to adjust the tone to make it more engaging. And just like that, I see new options and bring the content right into my draft. With the content looking good, I can select which channels I want to share to. Now I can preview it all. Amplify automatically reformats to optimize it for each channel. Everything looks ready, so I add which accounts I want to send to and see how I want the sender to appear. And press publish. Once it sends, I get a consolidated view to show that it has all been delivered successfully. Now I want to see how the content is performing, so I head over to the reporting page where I can track it against my campaign goals and see detailed analytics for each channel, including reach, click-through, dwell time, and downloadable reports. And flipping over to Engage, I see the post that we just published alongside events, co-pilot recommendations, and other community content. Moving into communities, I can see the ones I'm a member of and discover new communities. As part of your AI journey, there is a pre-built community template for AI adoption that you can quickly create with just a few clicks. This template makes it easy for us to bring licensed Copilot users together so we can tap into the power of social learning to accelerate adoption. And I can see what my coworkers are posting about. And if I don't see the info I need there, I can post a question. While writing my question, I get AI-powered suggestions of related questions that have already been asked and may be answered. We see almost 50% of questions get caught at this stage, reducing the burden on admins. Future capabilities will enable admins to signal which answers have been verified. These engage posts will then show up in Microsoft Copilot results so people across our organization have access to the latest knowledge as it becomes available. Now, I can also see detailed analytics within Viva Engage, 
including how network usage leads to higher employee retention. Viva Engage is where we bring people together across working groups and silos to build knowledge and connections that help us achieve our goals like upskilling, adoption of new technologies, or better embodying our cultural values. So a lot happens here. Scrolling down, I get AI-powered analytics, which makes it easier for me to keep up with what's top of mind for employees because this feature provides a real-time overview of trends in conversations and sentiment. For each theme, I see the sentiment and summary of related conversations and engagement. And now, we'll see how it all comes together in the employee app, where I see my tasks, connect to business services, and find my news in a single place. I can also see what's trending, discover and follow content, and engage with communities without missing a beat. Whether it's on mobile, web, or desktop, Viva Connections is my one-stop shop. And soon, we're bringing the power of Copilot to help me summarize news and stay on top of everything I need. Thanks, Tejas. Hi there. My name is Lauren Edelmeyer. I'm a group product manager on the Viva Engage team at Microsoft. Viva Engage brings all the best parts of community, communications, and employee engagement into the workplace. So you can connect with leaders and coworkers to share knowledge, answers, and ideas. And today, as a part of this Ignite session, we are excited to share with you a new set of capabilities available with Engage. Let's go ahead and dive in. We're bringing key scenarios, starting with Storyline, directly into Microsoft Teams. So you can create, follow, and engage with leaders and colleagues across your organization. This brings new ways to connect so you can learn more from the people you work with and share your own unique perspectives and expertise. And since Storyline is being built right into Teams, both the mobile and web experiences look great, bringing modern media and sharing into popular Teams destinations like chat and profiles. For leaders and corporate communicators, this integration offers a new way to reach all your employees, from the front line up through every level of your company, helping engage in two-way dialogue, share what's top of mind, and see rich engagement details. After Storyline, next, we'll bring communities into Teams, which will further increase the reach of your comms impact. Engage Copilot will also become smarter and more capable with full integration with M365 Copilot and the M365 Graph. Have trouble recalling that email meeting document that you want to summarize on Engage? No problem, just ask Copilot to help. And Copilot can now do so much more than help write a post. From catching you up on activity you've missed to intelligently searching for communities, campaigns, and people, to offering personalized suggestions on posts you should read and respond to. Engage Copilot has you covered. Over time, we will make Engage Copilot even more full-featured by expanding on skills such as predictive analytics, image creation, and leadership comms best practices. And we have heard your feedback. Yes, Engage is a powerful tool for creating new connections, building knowledge, and leadership communication. However, during times of controversy and global instability, it can also elevate unwanted distractions. To give you more control over what content is amplified in your network, we are excited to introduce a new feature called Content Alerts. You will now be able to look for themes of your choosing and proactively mute conversations about controversial topics to prevent elevation in Engage feeds and digests. We will also modernize our keyword detection capabilities as a part of this feature with more innovation in the new year, including real-time analysis of new posts versus your company's communication policy. Q&A from public engaged communities are now available in Microsoft 365 Workplace Search, spanning Bing at Work, Office.com, and SharePoint.com. This vast source of engaged knowledge coming to M365 Copilot will help ground common knowledge shared across your organization, increasing accuracy and consistency of Copilot's responses. And soon, 
You'll be able to see in the reference hover card in Copilot if an answer has been verified, giving further confidence in the response. Community admins can now designate experts, helping to scale the load of managing the knowledge shared in a community. Experts can mark best answer to questions and will have an exclusive ability to mark an answer as verified, so others can be rest assured information is trustworthy. Communities also have new filters to make it easier to find and respond to unanswered questions or those needing a best or verified answer. And community experts get a tag next to their name, helping them get recognition for all their efforts. Finally, I am thrilled to announce that the new Engage Copilot adoption community is available as a streamlined way for your organization to learn how to use and adopt Copilot. This experience accelerates adoption with companies who have used this new community seeing M365 Copilot usage 1.7 times higher. It's simple to create or convert an existing community you already have. The community template then regularly recommends content and actions to kick off engagement, including member recommendations based on which employees have assigned Copilot licenses. Also, premium features like top questions and answers intelligent importer are made seated just for this community, unlocking more value for more people. Yes, as an engaged team, we've been busy. What I just shared are only some of the many new capabilities coming your way as a part of our roadmap. To highlight a few more, now you can take advantage of campaign targeting to drive up engagement, benefit from more advanced community analytics, set multiple groups for those leader audiences, get more like voting from Teams Q&A, and benefit from multi-tenant organization scenarios. And as we look to the future, lots more is coming up, including pulling HR attributes into analytics. We can't wait to hear what you think. Now let's shift over to Amplify, and I am happy to welcome Judith from the Amplify product team. Take it away, Judith. Thanks, Lauren. Exciting times indeed in Viva Engage, and I'm equally excited to share some more news on Viva Amplify. As Lauren said, my name is Judith Jacobi. I'm a principal product manager working with the team on Viva Amplify. Paige's demo at the beginning of the session already showed the important part Viva Amplify plays for internal communicators. Just a short recap what Amplify allows you to do. Microsoft Viva Amplify empowers leaders and communicators to elevate their message and energize the people by meeting employees where they are. By using automated publishing, communicators can reach anyone on any app in just a few clicks. They can create campaigns enabled with writing guidance and reporting so that they can be heard, create alignment, and inspire action, all from one place. And for employees, Viva Amplify reduces clutter, increasing focus on key messages and driving action on the things that matter. Now, in addition to these core functionalities of Amplify, I am excited to show you the new and some coming soon capabilities of our product. Let's start. We recently launched campaign goals in Viva Amplify. Campaign goals, as you see in this slide, are now integrated in the campaign brief and help you define and set the goals and objectives of a campaign. It helps you establish a clear path for a campaign, guiding every action and decision and providing benchmarks to measure your progress so you can achieve your campaign objectives. And campaign goals are not only visible in the campaign brief. As you can see here, campaign goals are also integrated in your reporting screen. When you set a campaign goal in the brief, it will be applied at the campaign level for all publications and published distribution channels within that campaign. Speaking of reporting, let's dive a little deeper here. As you know, Amplify provides you with a dashboard that gives you a single page overview of the performance of your campaign. You can track engagement and reactions across all distribution channels or break it down by channel. We also just shipped a host of new analytic features to help you explore and understand the effectiveness of your comms and learn how you can optimize for next time. 
These updates include trend graphs and overall campaign impact, auto-generated PowerPoint reports, new reaction tracking, and the deep ability to filter using your organizational data like role and location. And this is not all. Even though there is no live feedback or questions in our session, I know that your question is about click-through rates and dwell time. We heard you. These are the most requested functionalities by communicators, and we can tell you today that yes, they are coming. We are bringing click-through rates and dwell time into the Amplify reports so you can see how many people have opened your links and how long they are engaging with your content for. And because Viva is built on top of M365, we are able to capture graph signals and click through traffic throughout the popular apps you use every day, like Teams, SharePoint, Outlook, and Engage. We also heard from you that some campaigns are really sensitive and hence, per default, it needs to be clear to everyone working on the campaign that a publication needs to be approved first. By requiring approval, which is an optional setting in your campaign, organizations can apply a significant level of quality and security to their content, ensuring every piece of content aligns with their standards and expectations. Another major addition to the capabilities of Amplify is the ability to publish directly to engage communities and storylines from within Viva Amplify, and of course, to also see the engagement of the audience in Engage as part of the consolidated reporting in Amplify. We are working very closely with Lauren's team on this, and it is now available in private preview. Both teams are looking at initial feedback to further improve the integration before we bring this to you soon. Now, before we dive into the world of AI for Amplify, I just want to highlight two additional features that are coming soon. First, publication copy. We know that communicators often need to send multiple variations of the same content to different stakeholders, or reuse content and publications for future installments. To better support these key corpcom scenarios, soon you will be able to copy and duplicate publications. Pulling over all existing content, including text, images, and customizations, including granular changes you have made to specific distribution channels. You can then save a copy and continue editing as you need. Second, we are addressing scenarios for frontline and deskless workforces. We continue to see the need for easy, clear communication channels between leaders, communication teams, and store-level employees. To facilitate this communication flow, we are closely working with our partners in Teams and Connections to leverage the work they have done in allowing to select the right audience and then also displaying the message to the employees where they are. And now, let's dive into our investments in AI. Pages has already demoed this in the video, but I want to reiterate that we are bringing the superpowers of Copilot directly into the Amplify editing experience to revolutionize the way you create and enhance content by providing you with a writing assistance for all your communications. Simply click the Copilot icon and Copilot will help you adjust the tone of your content to ensure your message lands just the way that you want it to. And asking all communicators in the session, are you in the middle of planning your co-pilot rollout across your org? We can help with this. You can now leverage Microsoft's own internal co-pilot deployment learnings and best practices to drive awareness and adoption of co-pilot. These pre-drafted messages contain tips, tricks, images, copy, and guidance to help your employees get ready for co-pilot and understand how to use it. Similar to the Copilot Deployment Kit, we have also made available pre-built campaigns to help organizations get the most out of the various Viva apps and how they can use them in their AI transformation efforts. Each installment includes pro tips on using Copilot within the M365 and Viva ecosystems and is ready to send to your employees. Pre-drafted content can be easily edited reviewed and published to multiple channels, including, as always, Outlook, Teams, SharePoint, and Engage. Now, a quick recap on what we have seen. Lots of functionalities that has launched already, and many are coming soon. 
I have talked about a lot, but there's more. For example, we are bringing co-authoring to Amplify and also will allow you better controls of the publication after you published, allowing you to republish and make changes. All in all, I hope you are as excited about these features and functionalities as we are, and I am now handing it over to Tages again and Viva Connections to show you how they put the employee at the center. Thanks, Judith. All right, let's move to our employee app, Viva Connections. As you've seen, Viva Connections is a company-branded front door to an employee's experiences that their organization provides to them. It's an experience that puts the employee at the center, putting all the apps, tools, and resources they need in one place. It's an app that helps them stay engaged and connected with their organizations. For their tools and apps, it really is a one-stop shop making it easy to discover and take quick action on both employee and job-related tasks, and can be done on any device. The same familiar app experience is available wherever the user works, on mobile, tablet, or desktop. It's customizable. Connections offers a high degree of configuration and customization options, from branding and theming to match your organization's identity, to curation of the most important org news and content that can be tailored differently to different groups allowing for the right experience to show up for each employee. This flexibility allows for connections to serve multiple user segments, from information workers to frontline workers, to employees in different subsidiaries or operating companies, all within the same tenant. It also builds on investments you've already made in your employee experiences. Connections provides an easy way to surface all the apps in your organization that you already have in place. And lastly, it's personalized to the individual. Users see news and important updates, announcements and conversations happening around them, and they too can further customize the experience to keep focused on the apps and tools they use the most. Let's talk about some of what's new in Connections. We introduced the Hero Spotlight area at the top of our canvas on desktop earlier this year, which is a way for the org to curate top news and content for their users. We've further enhanced capabilities for this feature with the ability to pin specific items. These can be arbitrary URLs. In other words, they don't need to be SharePoint news items. You can update the visual representation of the items with image and text. Or you can pick sites from which to fetch content. So in other words, you can pull news into connections from multiple sources. Earlier this year, we also updated branding and theming capabilities for connections. Here, you can really let your organization's brand identity shine through. When you apply a theme, it flows automatically to all experiences. Connections on desktop, mobile, tablet, and also the home site in your tenant. Related to brand identities, Connection supports up to 50 unique instances in a tenant, allowing you to have distinct experiences for different groups of employees. Until recently, however, you could only have one app icon for Connections and Teams. We've now released the ability for you to have multiple app customizations for the Connections app in Teams. So for every instance of Connections, you can have a distinct app name and icon appear in the Teams app bar as shown. Adding to the branding and theming flexibility that Connections provides, the product now supports the use of custom fonts. This has been a long-standing customer request and we're excited to deliver this capability to give you even more control over your brand identity in Connections and SharePoint. Switching gears to the dashboard side of the house, we have recently launched new cards available now in the card toolbox for operators to add to their dashboards. The Quick Links card, this card allows you to keep a collection of important links grouped together in a card. The Stream Playlist card, as the name implies, easy to access playlists can be created and added to the card, making it easy to get to important video content. And the Files card, connected to your OneDrive, this card shows recent, shared, and favorite files, keeping the most important files to you only a click or tap away. A note about an exciting upcoming change to the Viva Connections feed. It is transforming into a best-in-class enterprise newsreader, providing a uniform and customizable experience across desktop and mobile with features like notifications, enhanced user engagement, and controls. And this new experience will also provide co-pilot-driven news summaries, helping users stay abreast of the most important news more quickly. 
we are expected to roll out this new experience in early calendar 25. Another very cool thing the team is working on is bringing more engaged content into the connections experience. We are excited to be working on a few things. What you're seeing here are some design explorations, so I'll caveat with the fact that these might change as we get to a final coding, but let me call out a couple of things. An engage feed card for the dashboard. This is a new card we are working on, expected to be in preview early next calendar year. The card will surface recent, relevant community discussions directly on the card, with the ability for users to quickly catch up, take actions, or link directly to the community itself for deeper engagement. Engage announcements will start to show up in the announcements banner. This will add to the diverse set of announcements that surface in connections already. And in the spotlight, we're looking to further expand the value of the carousel at the top of the page and are planning to bring engaged campaigns and event content into the viewport here. We expect to roll out these capabilities over the course of calendar 25. Next up, we are bringing connections cards to Copilot experiences. When a card is relevant for a specific topic, Copilot will understand that a connections card can address the request based on the intent, and the card will surface in the conversation chat. Users will be able to interact with it directly from Microsoft 365 Copilot without interrupting their flow. This feature will be in public preview very soon. As you can see, we've done a lot of work on our desktop, web, and mobile experiences with things like custom fonts, dark mode support, search, etc. And then we've branched out to announcements, additional cards, and supporting a wide variety of business use cases. And we're not done. Going forward, we will enhance experiences, add more out-of-box dashboard cards, incorporate more co-pilot scenarios, deepen our integrations with other Microsoft tools, and a whole lot more. To wrap up, we wanted to share a few additional resources to help you learn more and take the next step. And finally, here are some additional Ignite sessions that you might find interesting related to what we shared today. Thank you for joining us today.